And here with us is George Randall. He has 20 plus years of Fortune 100 HR and talent acquisition experience. Right now, he's head of HR advisory with the company Talent War Group. Talent War Group is a leading management, consulting, and executive search company. George, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So a recent article caught my eye. A Deloitte study found that 70% of C-suite leaders in the U.S. and other countries are considering quitting their current jobs for a job that better supports their well-being. Now, I understand you deal a lot with executives in your field. Are more C-suite executives unhappy with their jobs now than before? Well, I think it follows the trend of the greater population. It's just that executives tend to stand out. You know, we're in the period of the great resignation. Everybody coming out of COVID and now seeing the economic insecurity, inflation, and some of the global crises is causing everybody. But executive C-suite or C-suite or very, very senior leaders are more impacted from an equity standpoint than most. So it's quite reasonable that they're thinking about making a change or something that works for them and their family better. Now, I want to talk about another point about the study. It found that a significant percent of, of employees at various companies feel that their executives don't care about their well-being. Now, in your expertise, how serious of an issue is it when employees feel like they're on their own? It's huge. And it's, it's actually magnified by the great resignation. You know, people want good leaders. People might love the company mission. They might love the company brand, product, or service. That goes out the window when you lack good leadership, when people aren't, senior leaders aren't coaching, managing, training, growing their people, they don't feel valued and they're gonna go to places. Talent now has more choices than ever and they will go where they are wanted and valued. So then my next question is, if I feel like I'm working for someone who doesn't seem like they care about my well-being, what, what do I do? What's your advice for them? If you're not happy with where you are, make sure you're defining what success looks like for you in the next role. Because companies are fighting for talent, they're going to make their roles look great, and you wanna make sure that that matches your definition of success and what you hope to achieve for your future. If a company is uh, seeing a worker shortage, how do they get people back to work? The first thing you need to do is double down on good leadership. I can teach people how to hire faster, hire better, but it, it's not going to help. The people in your firm that brag about your leadership and your reputation, your culture, is the way that you attract people to your firm. Your culture and your talent brand comes first. To do that, double down on great leadership. And how do you have a good brand? Through many things, number one, people want to work with good people. You know, whether you're looking at pro sports or companies, people want to work with other great people. They say A players run with A players. People want to challenge. So make sure when you're strengthening the culture that everybody that comes in isn't just doing a job. They're there to do that job, but they're thinking of their futures. And you need to invest in those people that you've spent all of that time to hire. Let them know they're valuable that their career trajectory is in your hands and it's in dang good hands. Now on that point about the people, George, should you put health before work, given that it might not be so easy for some people if they're living paycheck to paycheck, but what would you say? I would say one thing is health is something you can rarely get back. Um, and I don't think you have to make a choice anymore. I think that's part of the great resignation is people are finding out where they can be healthiest in all facets of their life and being productive makes you healthier, makes you happier, makes you more energized. You no longer have to compromise in this talent market. George Randall, head of HR advisory with the Talent War Group. Great having you on. Appreciate it. Thanks so much.